my pleasure to have to my right and your left one of the top players in the Pacific 12 Conference. Wow, Pac-12 is not the Pac-10 anymore. Uh, pleasure to have forward center for the Stanford Cardinal, Josh Owens. Pleasure to have you on, Josh. Thanks for having me. Yeah, yes, indeed. Uh, it's, it's your senior year coming up. Wow. Um, talk about how you're really looking to make a huge impact this season, especially starting here at Madison Square Garden under the bright lights. Well, I mean, it's a great opportunity for our team being in the preseason and IT playing against a bunch of great teams. Uh, you know, we have a young team that's coming off of a couple of years of rebuilding. So it's just a great opportunity for our team uh, as we get ready to approach uh, the conference season. And, uh, talk about what are the things you worked on in the off season to really get your game to the next level and, and to be looked at by NBA stout, yep. scouts. Uh, this summer and I mean in the spring was all about uh, maintaining strength, uh, putting on a couple of pounds of weight and uh, working on some perimeter stuff, uh, ball handling, uh, so I can you know beat mismatches uh, off the dribble and uh, working on my jump shot mechanics. Wow. And that's good to be able to face the basket and, and shoot you know shoot 15, 18 footers and everything. And uh, now Coach Dawkins, NBA pedigree. All-American point guard. I mean, wow, Un to be under his tutelage, talk about how special that is for you and motivating for you. Well, I mean, like you said, Coach Dawkins, he was a great player at Duke, uh, even and in the NBA, you know, he had a great career. And uh, so when you have somebody that, you know, has so much knowledge of the game you, you, and someone that's willing and able to, you know, express and, you know, convey that knowledge, uh, so many guys. Uh, it's, it, it's, a, it's an amazing resource. So, I mean, I'm hot, very thankful to have him as a coach, um, and you know, I'm excited for this last year with him. Wow. Are you in touch with any of the recent alumni, like uh, Landry Fields or the Lopez brothers, and in touch with them, and they giving you advice on how to uh, be able to get your stock up for the next level? Well, right now, all I'm thinking about is this year. I'm not really thinking about uh, getting stock up or anything like that. Um, but I am, I'm good friends with Landry Fields. And, uh, you, know, I, you know, I looked, talked to him for advice uh, about everything, whether it's, you know, off-court stuff or on-court stuff. He's always a great resource for me. And uh, Pac-12 Conference, the expansion. Uh, how excited are you um, having, you know, having more teams and the competitions getting better overall in the conference? Uh, it's, it's always exciting when you know you have some new teams. Um, the conference gets a little bit bigger, um, so I'm excited for the change. Uh, you know, it's a new road trip <laughs> to get get forward, <laughs> get, get ready to look forward to. But uh, I think it's exciting. Go to the Rocky Mountain area. You know? <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> Where the air is uh, rarefied, to say the least. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. Talk about your major. Talk about your master's program too, as well. Stanford's one of the top ten schools in the country, and balance in basketball. Wow. Just talk about your experiences. Yeah. Uh, so undergrad, I ended up doing economics. Um, I finished that up a little bit early and, you know, had a little bit of time to, you know, decide w what else I wanted to do with, you know, the, f the free academic, you know, things that I had going for me. So I decided to go with a civil engineering uh, master's program, uh, doing a program in sustainable design and construction. Okay. Um, so, you know, it bridged a lot of my interests uh, where I could also include some of the economics and like project finance and stuff like that. But, you know, you have green architecture um, and like I said, sustainable design. So you're dealing with renewable energy and everything like that. So it's all very exciting and relevant stuff for, you know, the world's future. And, and please uh, share with the audience how important it is for you to be able to develop time management, how it's important for them to develop time management and to be able to be multifaceted. Oh, I mean, for any for any student athlete, time management's always always key. Uh, when you have demanding schedules on uh, coming at you from both sides, so you know you have. For me, I have basketball, but then I also, you know, like have the master's program where I'm in a whole bunch of project-based classes where you know I'm working on schedules of four other people that might not necessarily you know have the same schedule demands that, that I do. So um, it's, it's, always, it's always a challenge, but it's a challenge that you embrace, you know, to get things done. So. And then you can lead by example, showing that you have a busier schedule, but you're doing, <laughs> doing your work and <laughs> being able to make your contribution. Yeah, I mean, it's not, I mean, it's for each person to say, hey, they have the busier schedule. You know, Stanford students, they're all, they're all doing something else besides, you know, their major, their master's program. So um, there's, there's mutual respect, and as long as you're there to, you know, work hard and get things done, uh, it, always, it always happens and always gets done. So. Josh, thank you for your time, and good luck this season. Looking forward to see, uh, see you in the NIT. Definitely. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.